So today I'm doing my video from my office and um, what's been on my mind really today, um, maybe in the last 24 hours or so, is really the concept of choosing to be self-employed. Um, I think that I kind of slid headlong or footlong, I don't know, feet first maybe is the right phrase, into self-employment. And um, as I've been doing this now for two years, when I say doing this, I mean 100% self-employed. No part-time salaried position like I used to have. Just me on my own doing this. Um, it has felt more and more natural, but it's also kind of terrifying. Anybody who's self-employed knows that sense. Um, and as a single parent, as a single woman, as somebody who's just turned 50, I feel like it takes on even more risk um, to kind of make that conscious decision to stay self-employed. And um, so that's what's been on my mind is like, am I doing what I'm doing with intention? Um, I was, yesterday evening, somebody sent me a job opening that I think a year ago, two years ago, I would have found quite compelling. Um, it's a local job, it's an executive director position, there's some facets to it that are a really good fit for my interests and my backgrounds. And my first thought when seeing this job description was like, oh wow, that's cool. But then I set it down and I thought, you know, I don't really want that. <laughs> I feel like I have set some really ambitious goals for myself this year, which coincide with just doing these videos and kind of helping me stay focused on what, you know, where my thoughts are in my own mind body skills practice. But for my business, for my work, I've set some pretty ambitious goals this year. The previous two years for me, anybody who knows me knows this, I say it a lot. The previous two years for me were all about survival. Um, you know, again, like kind of after my divorce, we had, you know, a lot of financial stuff that happens. Um, and I really had to kind of start over in every way you can, um, you know, a couple of years ago, really. And so those first two years of self-employment were all about survival, like just saying yes to everything, taking it all in. Um, but this year, really 2020, is for me about actually trying to craft a work life that feels right to me, which will mean hopefully doing less of the things I don't really want to do anymore and doing more of the things that I really want to be doing. Um, that takes such uh, organization and um, a constant kind of reminder of what I'm doing and what I, how I need to be spending my time, being really careful not to waste my time. Um, all kinds of things. It just requires a lot of focus. And so where that job was concerned, it was almost like an easy decision. Why give up now? <laughs> if I have all these things I want to do this year, I don't want to take that or even pursue that job. I want to try this. I want to try this, 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 and this that I want to be doing and see if I can make it work. So um, it's a conscious decision. And, and again, there's a lot of risk. And I also have been thinking today about my values as a working professional woman. Um, who do I want to be? Uh, I had, an, had a couple of interactions I'll just briefly touch on here, just in case anybody who happens to watch this can relate. I had one interaction where somebody that I don't know reached out to me about a, a person they were concerned about, whose mental health they were concerned about. And they said, I am trying to help my friends and, you know, dot, dot, dot. And I spent some time with them on the phone and a couple of emails and texts trying to kind of help them go in a certain direction to help their friends. And this person said to me, hey, um, I'll send you, a, send me an invoice. I'll send you a, you know, a, a payment for your consultation. And I'm like, no, thank you. Thank you for offering that. That's really, you know, I appreciate that. But this is just my way of kind of being in the world. I'm happy to have helped. And this person that I talked to has a service that I was actually glad to learn about. So I just feel like that's just kind of a kind way of being a professional. Um, and so it was, that was an easy 
easy choice. Um, and another interaction I had, which is where I, I was reaching out to another professional to make a referral or to investigate making a referral. And um, in that exchange, I felt the communication from that colleague was, was really um, not real polite. And um, in some ways, maybe the opposite of polite. I don't want to say something untoward in my video, but I was taken aback by kind of the tone that I got from this, this person. And I did two things. One, I did just what I said in my video yesterday. I used my authentic voice to respond to this individual to say, hey, wow, that tone was really not what I expected. And thank you very much. And in my mind, I said to myself, well, I'm not going to be sending any referrals her way. Um, and I'll keep looking for my client to get some help that I'm looking for. Anyway, it, it had me all thinking about, like, who do I want to be? What are my professional values? And my professional values kind of mirror my own personal values. Um, you know, I want to treat people with kindness. I want to, you know, kind of treat people with mutual respect, no matter what, even if I'm in a hurry or I've got a lot going on or I'm feeling stressed out, whatever. I always want to, to treat people with kindness and mutual respect. And the other thing that I wrote down as I'm looking at my notes was this concept that I always want to assume that the person I'm working with has good intent, right? What does that mean? That means that if I'm approaching somebody and, um, you know, I write something in that approach or I say something that that person feels a certain way about, um, it would be lovely for them to assume that I had good intent um, or reversing those roles. Um, you know, if somebody sends me a communication or, or asks something of me, I want to just step back and kind of make the assumption that they're coming to, to me with a good good intentions. You know, and I like to say an open heart. Um, and so those are some values that I've been thinking about today. I always want to treat people with the re respect and kindness. And I do go out of my way to communicate maybe in more words than other people do because I always want to make sure as much as I can that I'm communicating in a way that's clear that is um, polite, courteous, and shows mutual respect, and what it shows respect to that person, whatever way I can. And those are my professional values. I also have a professional value based on my own bias that if I ever have a choice to make in terms of who I work with and where I spend my money, I'm always going to choose to shop local when I can. And that is a very conscious decision that I make. And also, if I have to choose between two equally wonderful practitioners who are self-employed and kicking ass, if I have to choose between them and they're both equal to me, I'm going to choose the person who is a single parent or who is a parent um, because I know the risks that they're taking as a self-employed person. I know them very well. So if I have to choose between two equals and that's one factor that's different, then I'm going to go for that because that's another value that I have. Um, I want to support people who are taking the risk to be out in the world as a self-employed parent, just like I am. So I hope that in doing that, I'm generating enough kind of goodwill. You know, I believe what we give out is what we get in. And so those are my thoughts just about being self-employed and, um, you know, kind of who I am as a person and what I want to kind of give out as a self-employed person. So I am making that conscious choice and I like it. So uh, the song that comes to me today is a song that really doesn't have anything to do with that, but is just a real motivating song. And it came on this morning and when I was thinking about some of these things and I was like, this feels right. And it's a song by Langhorn Slim, who I really uh, appreciate. He's a unique uh, songwriter and performer. And it's a song called The Way We Move, which is just kind of like a his declaration about kind of how he's moving in the world and it's just a fun song and it just feels real motivating to me today. Um, and as far as my journaling practice tonight, what I'm going to journal about tonight 
is just a more, just a little bit more um, written out declaration for myself of what my professional values are. I've said a few of them, kindness, mutual respect, assumption of good intent on the part of the person I'm working with. Um, but what are some other things? Like I'm not necessarily gonna write a mission statement for myself, although that's actually a really good practice. Um, but I think I'm just gonna write about what are my professional values? What am I putting out there um, in the world? So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I encourage anybody else who's trying to think about who they are professionally to do such, a, such writing. So it may be helpful. So that's where I am today.